the former NTV News anchor Rosemary Nankabira died on Sunday afternoon after losing the battle to adrenocortical cancer. She was at the Aga Khan Hospital at the time of her death, where she had been flown for specialized treatment. Ahead of the return of her body, Rosemary's family, close friends and the NTV team released plans for a requiem mass and vigil. The church service is at, is at 2 p.m. the following day, Tuesday. Then we shall have an overnight vigil at, uh, at Kanyanya. And then in the morning, we go to, to the final resting place in Masaka, in a place called Kanoni. The appeal to raise money for specialized care for Nankabira had kicked off in earnest on Friday and Saturday, in which up to 110 million shillings was raised. The family now says at least 50 million shillings from that money will be directed to the country's cancer institute to save other lives. We are going to set up a bank account and put this money there. And uh, all this other money which is still trickling in will go on top of the 50 million. And, um, well, at some point, of course, we shall be sure as to what exactly we need to do. The family also thanked everyone for the support they showed and their contribution towards trying to save Nankabira's life. I think on Thursday, in hospital, she was in great pain, and I showed her the letter from the little girl from Lohan Academy who had um, offered her 20,000 uh, that had been given to her by the rat and... I told her, you see, you have to fight for the whole world because even the babies love you. She stopped mourning in pain and she's like, yes, yes, I'm going to fight for the little girl. The love you people have shown us, I think it's part of the thing that has pushed her for these last two weeks. We also wish to further extend our appreciation to the government of Uganda, to the various institutions as named by the brother. Nankabira will be buried at Kanoni Wukunde along Chotera Road in Masaka on Wednesday the 15th of this month. Suhail Mugabe, NTV. I'm Rosemary Nankabira. Bye-bye.